we are in this beautiful mountain town here in Taipei in Wule and wow we have so much to do today this place is absolutely breathtaking I cannot believe we are just 45 minutes outside of Taipei we are staying really high up this mountain so we just walked down we are staying at a hot spring hotel which we will show you later on in the video because that is what this place is famous for for its amazing hot springs but we have a full day of exploring so we stopped by this beautiful temple here we just saw the lanterns and they look so beautiful with the mountains in the background it kind of looks close to be honest with you but it's still pretty to look at the last time you saw us in our Taiwan adventures we were in Yangmingqing National Park that was really really cool but we had to take two different buses to go from there through Taipei and down to Wule and now we're here we've just been resting just soaking up the views of the mountains and we're so excited to explore the city today I am a little bit surprised to see absolutely nobody at that temple except for one employee it is like Friday morning slash afternoon so yeah it's really shocking to see that but now we are going to the Wule suspension bridge and this is something that we had to do while we were here. I honestly just cannot believe how insanely beautiful the scenery has been here in Taiwan. And these places are like totally doable by day trips from Taipei. I mean, Yangmingxing and this place, Wule, totally easy buses 45 minutes away from Taipei. We are choosing to stay in these places because we like being in nature and surrounding it. But if you're more of a city person, you can totally just do day trips to these places. It looks like we are just catching the end of the cherry blossoms here on this tree there's still some little pops of pink in it though I mean we got to see tons of cherries in the National Park so we definitely got our fill of cherry trees but it's still always fun to just see the pops of pink everywhere we go we have made it to the suspension bridge I have a feeling when we get to the middle of it and we're like right over the river with all the mountains on either side it's going to be quite the view for me the best part of this place so far has been the mountains just the view of them from just all around everywhere we go but I still haven't seen a lot of the town yet and of course I haven't seen this water yet but wow it looks oh my gosh. like a really nice color it it's is so blue like I feel like I'm in the Caribbean right now with how blue it is wow this is amazing and like you can see all the way to the bottom yeah oh my gosh I want to jump in there so bad do you think people swim in this river Where? if you know tell us because I really want to I wonder if it's like hot or cold warm yeah I don't know it's so beautiful though wow so I don't exactly know how high this bridge is but this water is insanely clear and I can tell because we're what like 100 200 feet high up on this bridge and I am watching fish swim in the water that is how clear it is this is the same river it looks like I'm just looking at Google Maps it's the same river that is coming from Taipei the same one we filmed like all those videos ago and it's also the same one that I guess the Wule Falls is going into so of course we'll get to that later on in the video so this is really cool to have a view of the water right now this bridge definitely feels like a pretty big tourist attraction so I'm very surprised we are the only people on this bridge right now there was a sign back there that said like maximum of 20 people can be on the bridge at one time but there's only two right now. We were the only ones on the bridge for a really long time and then another couple was walking along it and I could like feel the bridge actually moving a little bit. It was a little bit spooky. I'm sure it's totally safe, but it was weird to like feel it bounce up and down a little bit. We've made it to the old street and you can correct us if we are wrong but we've been researching Ule I believe that's how you pronounce it and this town actually has a tribe of indigenous people living here I think they did and they still do so the food here isn't like the typical Taiwanese food that we've been eating it's more of the traditional tribes food here so I'm excited to see what they have looks like we're tasting some rice wine right now <laughs> How about you want to taste Yeah, I'll taste some. Thank you. Ooh, sweet. It's yeah. good. <laughs> Depend on the custom. Mm. Hmm. Mm. I think I like that one a little bit better. Which one's your favorite? I think the middle one. 
that one. I was gonna say that too. Really? Yeah, that was good. That was really cool. We got to try some of that rice wine. Some of them were pretty good. And now we're going to the shop that's right next to it. And we're gonna have some noodles and a traditional dish. We stopped in. It kind of looks like they're like street vendors, but then they all have like restaurants in the back. So we're sitting down. I think we're gonna get the bamboo rice and then some kind of noodles. We're starting out with a Taiwan beer. This thing is massive. And it was only like two or three bucks pretty good. I tried a cherry blossom beer here and it was so sweet. Haven't tried this beer yet though. Mm, it's very, very light, refreshing. I feel like a beer on a hot day just is perfect. You're wearing long sleeves. <laughs> yeah, I, I shouldn't have worn long sleeves. We've seen these bamboo sticks, bamboo rice, I guess. We've seen them at like every stall. So we figured we had to get this one. We got the one with meat, very sticky. Oh, whoa. You can really taste the bamboo. It's like, I've never tasted wood, but this is what I imagine wood to taste like. But the rice is very, very sticky, chewy. We get a piece of meat here. I like it. Mm, the meat's really, really good. I don't even know what kind it is. I would definitely not be able to eat any other rice with chopsticks other than this one because it clumps really sticky together so I can eat it. That bamboo rice looks good, but I am in charge of trying the fried noodles. We wanted to be a little adventurous to start off, but there were some other things on the menu. There was like a wild boar noodles and things like that, but these fried noodles, it looks like there's it's pork, I think. It's a really good flavor. This one, this little bowl of rice, or not rice, noodles, was uh, under $2. So I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be a pretty good value. The noodles were definitely my favorite. I also did really like the rice and the beer. All of it was good. And we got it all for like six or seven US dollars. So it was a very, very good price. And now we have lots more exploring to do. I just ordered a wild boar sausage on a stick. It was just a little bit more than one US dollar. Looks pretty good. It's a very popular place too. There's lots of people in line. Yeah, we picked the one with like the biggest line. This is the wild boar sausage. It's probably gonna be hot. Oh, yeah it is. That face is really cute. Oh, it was so hot. This is a pretty good flavor. It has, it's like pretty crunchy where it's like that's what I really like when it's like burnt to like just a little bit. Definitely tastes a little bit like pork. I like it. And we have made it to the end of Old Street. So now we're gonna cross this bridge and we're gonna head over to the scenic train and also Ule Falls. We have seen tons of murals of the pigs and like the people like chasing the pig and then catching the pig and then roasting the pig. So I definitely think that is a thing here. And honestly, it reminds me of the smell reminds me so much of French Polynesia. I might just be making that up in my head, but as soon as we got here and we walked up to our hotel where there's a bunch of residences, just normal local people living their lives, I got that smell and it just reminds me of like, I don't know, yeah, just the islands, I guess, which is weird because it's not an island, but it kind of has that like laid back island vibe, roasting pigs, I don't know. It just reminds me a lot of Tahiti. The ground is clear. Stepping on glass. Uh, Seems pretty sturdy. Stomps on it, oh my gosh. So we were just at the Ule Old Street and now it looks like we've come to a pretty busy part of town as well. There's lots of restaurants, hotels. There's a public bathroom that Jacob is currently using. It's right across from the bridge. And there's like a little scenic train that you can go on. We really want to go on it. I think it might be closed for maintenance, which is sad, but we're still gonna walk to the waterfall after this.
Well, we didn't get to go on the train, but this is what it looks like. It's pink and super cute, so just woohoo, pretend that we're on it. <laughs> but yeah, we are walking to the waterfall right now. But I'm really, really enjoying all of these murals on the wall. I feel like they all like tell a story and it's really cool. That was another fun street we just walked down. It felt a little bit like that old street the first time. It was a little bit smaller, but now, I mean, I guess we're still kind of on the street, but this side is open to the river and it looks really nice like once you get a nice view of the mountains and the water together. If anyone knows the answer to this, we would love to know it because like two or three times a day, these speakers will go off and they're right by our hotel and we'll just hear a bunch of Mandarin that we do not understand. <laughs> The first time I was like, is everything okay? Is there like an emergency? But nothing happened and now we hear it a few times a day. So if you know what they're saying over the speakers, please let us know. I think we might have found a hot spring. We're just looking over the edge and we see people swimming in the river. And then there's like these little pools too that people are sitting in. They're like people. building a dam. Yeah, that might be the public hot spring, but we don't need a public one. We got a private one right in our hotel room. Honestly, taking a hot spring there would be so, so, so nice because you have the beautiful river that you could dip into if you get too hot, and you have this beautiful view of the mountains. I heard there was a cable car that was somewhere around here. I heard it was like a little bit pricey, and uh, it only lasts like two minutes. We kept walking on the road, and the trees have covered us with shade, and it feels a lot cooler in here now, which is a good thing. And we made it to something called Lover's Trail Observation Deck. Jenny doesn't want to go up there. She said it looks creepy. It does look creepy. Well, I'm going to do it. Uh, oh, yay, you're joining me. It said there was an observation deck, but... I think the trees are maybe a little bit too much grown. I was expecting to, like, see the river. I mean, you can kind of see the mountains a little bit, but I guess we'll keep walking. I'm hot. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it looks cool. Let's see. Jesus loves the world. Wow. How about that? Oh wow, that's the railroad tracks. I am sad that was closed. I was really looking forward to it. After walking on this railroad for a little bit, it looks like we're getting close to the waterfall. And the cars are right here. There's no sidewalk. How do you avoid this traffic? It's a two-way road, but how are the cars gonna pass each other? All I have to say is I'm glad I didn't rent a car here. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna fix this whole situation. Hey look, there's the cable car. We made it to the waterfall market where it looks like there's a lot of the same street food as there was back on Old Street and the waterfall station. And I think when we come around this corner, we will have the best view of the waterfall. We made it to the waterfall. It is very, very tall. There's not a ton of water coming out of it, but it is so beautiful with the river rushing, the mountains, the trees, just the whole thing is gorgeous. And the hike up here, I don't even know if you could consider it a hike. It was more like a walk. It was like 1.8 kilometers, I think, from the old street, so really not too bad. If you've ever watched Mamma Mia, there's this song that goes voulez-vous and ever since we started looking up this place, I've always gone voulez-vous. So now that I'm here, I can't stop singing it. <laughs> I know that's silly, but it just makes me laugh. We've just been sitting here staring at this stunning waterfall for a few minutes now. Well, actually like 20 minutes and now it is time to walk back down and then when we get there we are going to show you our beautiful hotel hot spring we made it back to our hotel and how could you not love this view this is one of the reasons why we booked this hotel it's high up on the hill but you can see the mountains like this now let's head into our room and do the hot spring bath let's turn on this hot spring <laughs> We're letting that steam up for a few minutes and letting the tub fill up. We're gonna shower first and then jump in and then shower afterwards to clean off. It is so cool that we're staying at a hot spring resort, or well, at least one that has one in our bathroom because when you're here at Wule, you just, uh, this is what you do. It's right on a bunch of hot springs and so it is 
so nice to have this really hot water. We filled up both the hot pool and the cold pool. So the hot pool is really, really big. And then that little tiny guy right there is a cold plunge pool. And it's honestly very necessary because this one gets so hot. There is a lot of steam coming off of it. It is really toasty. So it is so convenient to have the cold plunge as well. Ooh, isn't it hot? This feels, feels pretty good. I mean, like, it doesn't feel too hot right now, but after about like 15 minutes, it it gets to you. Well, we're in the cold plunge now. I'm all the way down. It's so hot. How long have you been here before going there? However long you want. It's a relaxing experience. Oh, it's so relaxing. <laughs> well, this was so much fun getting to hang out here in Ule, and it's cool that we're staying overnight, but it's also a place where you can just come for a day trip. We wanted to come here just to relax and enjoy this tub, and in our next video, we'll be heading back to the main city of Taipei. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you there.